Hello there, everybody. This is just an update on uh, Myth MythBuntu QML. Um, as you can see, I've broken it up into a couple different libraries. We've got our system tools here. We've got the actual Myth TV uh, backend, or I'm sorry, uh, components that I've been working on here. As you can see, um, we've also got ZeroConf now so that everything can uh, connect automatically without having to enter in anything. Um, and then we have our front end here. So let's give it a spin and see what it looks like. A text message. So as you can see, if we just click on right here, it automatically finds the back end host for us and if we look back over I'm council logging it it says database is there and that's totally correct um, and then of course you know we can you know check that out I got some keyboard navigation going now at the top here we have uh, this is just one uh, theme too there's gonna be a lot of theme manage recordings we can schedule a recording something that's on TV we could just pick out, I don't know, uh, something and then, you know, schedule to record it. We can also watch our recordings that we've already recorded in the past. We can also look at our recording rules. If something is record getting ready to record, we can change the metadata and stuff like that for it, uh, like fan art and stuff like that. We can watch videos that we have saved on the back end. We can change the view from, say, grid view to cover flow. There we go. We can go back. Under manage recordings, we can also look at uh, previously recorded ones and change some metadata rules. Set priorities does not work yet. Uh, you've already seen recording rules. Information Center is going to give us our system stat. Oh, geez. Crash there. I'm going to have to look into that. This is pre alpha code, by the way, too. It's also pre alpha. I should say that like 15 times. Um, our Information Center. Uh, we can watch TV directly. We can look at our setup and see if everything is correct. I have a weather plug in here. I have a remote for any front end, so if you're running this on an Android phone, you can use it as a remote. Um, it needs a lot of work, but as you can see, it uh, has every single button you could possibly imagine. I'm gonna break this down into a couple different ones, and then I also have a picture one and some other things like that, but just to prove that it works, this is using ZeroConf2 and also uh, signaling via GPS. So it finds the closest front end that you are running, and then, um, yeah, and then it, it, it grabs that front end and, and it uh, connects to it. So let's find like a little up button or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, see, this is going to have to be way different. But again, pre-alpha code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to go into manage recordings here and then schedule recording and uh, go to the program guide. But then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go, say, go to menu. And as you can see in the background there, the menu just popped up. And uh, let's see, we can, I don't know, go and exit. Um, yeah, nothing super cool or whatever, but it works. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be a lot more to come soon. Have a good day, and uh, be nice to everybody out there. Take care. Bye.